Welcome back to... Wait... As I was saying, welcome back to Cooking with Cat Gravity. Today we're going to be making ramen noodles. I'm going to be using chicken flavor. You can do any flavor you want. But pretty much all you need, water, pot. And if you can read directions, it's pretty obvious how to cook these. But anyways, two cups of water. How do, how do you measure? Okay, two, two cups. Two cups right there. Boom, boom, water. Ah, uh, close enough. Pour in two cups of water, totally not making a mess. And while that's happening, I'm just gonna turn this to probably as high as possible. Is it on? It's not on yet. It'll it'll take a minute. But anyways, while that's happening, more water. Ignore how dirty my sink is. I'll clean it later. And set this down. Boom. And pour the rest of the water in there. Boom. Now we wait until it boils. Okay, what I like to do while I'm waiting for this to boil is uh, to take these little packet things out because I don't ask how many times I have like, oh, I'm going to pour this in, do, 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 and then the bag is in there. And then I have to reach my fingers in there. It's not fun. Yeah, don't do that. And I also, while I'm waiting, sometimes I like to watch TV or YouTube or whatever's on. Like, come on, make this guy fix the road. The town needs this. No, I know his type. Racist. It's the last thing this town needs. <laughs> All right, now that it's boiling, carefully set the packets in. Don't put it in too fast. Could it lift up water and that would not be good. Now I'm gonna grab a fork. A fork. Ugh. Hard to do. You sort of just like stir them a little bit and make sure the pot isn't moving off. I would recommend doing one, but I do two since my metabolism is extremely high. Or if you just want to, go ahead. Slowly start mixing them together. a moment. Next on the instruction packet, we, add, we added the noodles. Now we cook for three minutes while stirring occasionally. So I'm going to go turn on alarm. Three for that lawn. If I can, boom. See, now it's timer going. And Boom. Now that the timer's going. You should be careful because it can be very hot. The steam is getting up all in my phone. That is fun. Just trying to make sure it's not clumped together. Unless you like to eat it clumped together, but personally I do not. Also do not throw out the the bag. You can get rid of one of them if you have more than one. But if you need at least one if you want to read the directions. If you know the directions, of course, you can throw it out while you're waiting for this to cook. Otherwise, I'm going to wait for this to cool. And, well, I'm going to wait for the three minutes to English. Yeah, after the three minutes are up, we have to turn off the heat, add contents of flavor, which is pretty much these little flavor packet thingies. Stir well for one minute until, bleh, 
the uh, flavoring is fully dissolved. Makes two eight ounce servings. So 16 ounces per bag. I'm getting 32 because I am uh, buh, skinny. And then just be careful because it would be very hot. Allow to cool, serve, and enjoy. So I'm going to let this cool, or I'm going to do all those steps, and I'll meet you back when I'm almost done. Timer just went off, so I'm going to stir it one last time for good measure. That's what you like to see. Let me turn off the heat. Off. And uh, I need two hands. Now that all the contents are in, just stir. And of course, if you like to drain some of the, like the water, you can do that. I know that draining the water, like, it ten the tends to, the contents tend to stick to like the water and not the noodles. So if you want to, you can do that. But personally, I like to drink some of this, some of the water, or at least keep my noodles nice and moist. <laughs> moist. But anyways, it's almost done. It's looking good. Look at that. Now, some people like to have uh, eggs with theirs. I'm not a huge fan of having eggs with ramen, so I will not be making eggs with ramen. But if you want to, that is an option. When I was younger, I used to put ice cubes in my ramen noodles to cool it down quicker. So if you want to try that, go ahead. If you're a little impatient or hungry, go ahead. But anyways, looking just about done. Take this off the hot burner, move it to the cool one. We get a bowl, set my phone down, I need two hands. And I would recommend two hands on this as well, but ever so carefully. And I'll have to scrape the rest of it out with a fork. Come on, come on. Oh, that works. Never mind. Got all of it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make ramen noodles. Now, I would taste test it, but it is very warm right now. You know what? For you guys, for you guys, I'll have a little bit. Just cool it down. Mmm. It's so hot. Oh, that is really hot. Yeah, I recommend cooling it down first. Or waiting for it to cool down. But that is good. That is good stuff. If you want more, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Let's go. Yeah, I don't care. Do whatever you want. Anyways, this is how I make ramen. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.